Well, a spider apocalypse Ooh. is sweeping Gippsland in regional Victoria following those heavy rains and flooding. Now, just take a look at these pictures. How bad? <laughs> well, that doesn't look too bad. What's wrong with that, Ellie? Well, they're... Someone's got to make the webs. <laughs> right. So millions of creepy crawlies, millions of them, have covered trees, fields and even street signs in a thick blanket due to a natural phenomenon called ballooning. For more, we're joined by Longford local Darren McCubbin, whose home is surrounded by the webs. <laughs> Darren, you're lucky to be alive. <laughs> I am indeed, Carl. Hey, good day, Carl and Ali. Welcome to Longford here in Victoria. It's absolutely fantastic to meet you from the capital of Spider City. Oh, mate, where have you been all my life? <laughs> good energy. <laughs> <laughs> is it though? And I believe we can call you Mr. Webb. That's what we've been telling your nickname oh. is these days. <laughs> Look, it's fantastic. A millions of spiders have got these glossomer webs that have surrounded the town. So there's, they're everywhere. They're on street sides, they're in, they're in trees, they're on the bushes. They've all come out of the floods. It's a, it's a natural phenomenon called ballooning. And the little critters to get out of the floodwaters have chucked up these silken uh, parachutes and it floats them out of the floodwaters and into the side of the road where they can feast on all the insects which are here nearby. But it's going crazy. There are people stopping by the side of the road. Um, it's, it's absolutely going off here in Longford as we become the spider capital of, of Australia. OK, that's not um, <laughs> something that people generally would aspire to, um, being the spider capital, um, but it's certainly making news on the World Wide Web. Um, is, it, is it attracting a lot of people? I mean, yes. I, I, who, what kind what kind of person is stopping to get photos with these, these spiders and the webs? No, no, it's... No, Carl, it's absolutely huge. The, the town has spent thousands of dollars on a marketing campaign called The Middle of Everywhere. But you can spend money on that, you can sing songs, you can do dances, but it takes a million spiders coming out of the swamp and suddenly people swamp into your town. You, you can almost sell T-shirts by the side of the road, there are so many people. You could sell it's anything. It's absolutely huge, but why wouldn't you? Have you found them in your bed yet? <laughs> No, well, no, but luckily they're staying near the floodwaters, but they're absolutely magnificent. A couple of days ago, and they've kind of split up now, the, uh, the webs were kind of billowing in the, uh, in the wind, and it looked absolutely spectacular. But they're still everywhere, and if you go along the bushes here, you'll see a million tiny little friends that, uh, that you can go and make friends with. It's fantastic. I can't imagine anything better. Um, Darren, you run a local business called The Murder, <laughs> the Murder Company, running interactive entertainment. Yes. Now, now, how does that work in conjunction <laughs> yes, with, the, with the spider stuff? Well, look, I don't know whether on national television I should tell you that I'm thinking of ways of knocking people off using spiders. <laughs> but um, it has given me a few <laughs> ideas. And it does create a bit of a... And it does create a bit of a vibe around here, which is absolutely fantastic. But, hey, we're enjoying our spiders here in Longford, and why don't you come down and check it out? OK, um, Ali did not hear any of that about no. knocking someone off that she loves um, with <laughs> spiders. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Uh, look, we're you're pumped up. Uh, um, give, give this a final rev up before we move on from Longford in Victoria. Uh, why should we come and see you? It's, we should come and see because this is the middle of everywhere. There's something to see for everyone. You've got the mountains, you've got the sea, and you've got spiders. So come into Longford and catch them out. We'll see you there. Oh, B square. Cool, B square. How good is that, I'm man? There. I'm there. He's not me. You I'm sold, sold it. mate. He's a, what a character. That what a is legend. great stuff. I want to have a very long dinner party with Darren. He needs to go change his bathroom. Oh, he's always. Oh, Are <laughs> 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 oh, I actually think he just sold spiders, and I didn't know that was possible. Some people really dig it. Yeah. You know, I, I think just, he digs everything. I'm not. You're, you're, you're completely fine with this. I like stuff. spiders. Yeah, I think they're. You Cool. like spiders? Yeah. What's to like about a spider? The only animal we don't like... The only thing you can't say a nice thing about is a mosquito. I don't like flies mozzie. either. Yeah, I don't like... No, yeah. I don't like geckos. Um, What's wrong with geckos? Snakes, They're cute. lizards. So if there was a plague of snakes or spiders, which mm. one would you prefer? Uh, look, I, it's a very <laughs> difficult question. I, I think I'd have to say snakes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, like answer. the ones that you eat. <laughs> 
I love those of things. Course. They're 99% fat free, they say. <laughs> yeah. It's the sugar you worry about, yeah. my friend.